to say amen. Amen. I'd like to say good morning to everyone. Good morning. We're going to discuss our Sunday school lesson for July the 18th, 2021. Mm -hmm. But first, let us go before the throne of mercy for a word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, is once more and again that we a few of thine believing children have assembled ourselves at your house of prayer. We come leaning and depending upon you. And Lord, we pray that you will forgive us all our sins and trespassing against you Amen. from our early existence up until this present time. We know that you are the only one that can do our sin sick soul any good. So we're going to continue to lean and depend upon you. Yes, Lord. We pray that you will strengthen us where we are weak. And Lord, build us up where we have been torn down. And Lord, we pray that you will give us a generous portion of your wisdom because your word says, and if we desire wisdom, let us ask the Father who are in heaven, who give freely and without being prejudiced. Mm -hmm. And Lord, while asking, we pray that you would give us a boldness, a boldness that only you can stand, give, mm -hmm. so that we can stand in the presence of our enemies and declare unto thee, that our Savior live, and that he has all power in his hand. All power. We pray that you will bless the church family all over the world. Mm -hmm. We pray that you will bless them spiritually, mentally, as well as physically. Amen. And we will be so very careful to give you all of the praise and all of the glory, because you and only you are worthy to be praised. Then all of God's people said, Amen. 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 Seeking a blessed assurance. Mm -hmm. And I pray that you have read the background passage, which is Roman 4 in its entirety. Mm -hmm. And I will lesson text for today will be coming from the 12th chapter of Romans, verse 1 through 12. Mm -hmm. Our unifying topic is the faith of Abraham. Mm -hmm. Let us share the printed text for today's lesson. Romans 4, 1 through 12. What shall we say then that Abraham, our father, as pertaining to the flesh, hath found? For if Abraham was justified by works, he has whereof to glory, but not before God. For what says the scripture? Abraham believed God and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Mm -hmm. Now, to him that worketh is the reward, not reckoned of grace, but of death. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Even as David also described the blessedness of the man mm -hmm. unto whom God imputed righteousness without works, mm -hmm. saying, Blessed are the whole, blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man 
to whom the Lord will not impute sin. Cometh this blessedness mm -hmm. then upon the circumcision only, or upon the uncircumcision also. For we say that faith was reckoned to Abraham for righteousness. How was it then reckoned when he was circumcised or in uncircumcision? Not in circumcision, but in uncircumcision. And he received the sign of circumcision, a seal of the righteousness of the faith which he had yet being uncircumcised, mm -hmm. that he might be the father of all them that believe. Thou that, though they be not circumcised, that righteousness might be imputed unto them also. Mm -hmm. And the father of circumcision is to them who are not of the circumcision only, but who also walk in the steps of that faith of our father Abraham, mm -hmm. which he had been yet uncircumcised. Amen. Amen. Seeking assurance. Mm -hmm. Seeking to live the life that our father Abraham lived. Mm -hmm. The lesson text today will come in two bulletins. Abraham justified by faith, which is Romans 4, 1 through 8, mm -hmm. and David circumcised, I mean justified by faith. Mm -hmm. That is Romans 4, 9 through 12. The main thought, Abraham believed God, and it was counted unto him mm -hmm. for righteousness. Amen. Romans 4, verse 3, according to the King James Version. Mm -hmm. Unifying principle, people often look to those older than they are for assurance. Mm -hmm. Who is an example one can trust. Though through faith, Abraham, the father of all who believed, proved he was in right relationship with God. Mm -hmm. okay. If you really want to get into a good relationship with God, Hold on to your faith. Amen. Mm -hmm. Believe that God is the Father yes. and that Jesus Christ is our Lord and our Savior. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit is our teacher, our comforter, and our guide. Mm -hmm. And he's dwelling down here on earth with us. This lesson provides example of Abraham and David, showing how they obtain righteousness through their faith. Mm -hmm. These Old Testament heroes provide example for all believers Amen. on how to be right with God. Mm -hmm. It teaches you how to be right with God. Romans 15 and 4 tells us, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, okay. mm -hmm. that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Amen. Right. I'm talking about the Holy Word, mm -hmm. the Bible. We need to study the Bible 
on a regular basis. Amen. We need to study so that we can show ourselves approved unto God. Mm -hmm. Just like Abraham and David showed themselves approved unto God, we can do likewise. Amen. But we got to know what Abraham and what David did so that they could find favor with God. Mm -hmm. And they did find favor with God. Amen. Amen. And we also can find favor with our Heavenly Father. Yeah. First Corinthians 10 and 11 teaches us not all these things happen unto them for example. And they are written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the world are come. God gave us the Holy Bible. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And in this situation that we are confronted with, God has already given us instructions on how to deal with the situation or how to avoid a situation. Yes. And that is his holy word. Yes. Within this lesson, Paul urges believers to draw on the inner conviction inspired by God to excel. All right. We must believe God will make good things happen within our lives and more and move forward in doing good works as God opened doors. Mm -hmm. right. If we are obedient to God, God will open doors that nobody can close. Mm -hmm. right. And once God closes a door, nobody will be able to open it. Mm -hmm. Regardless of who you are mm -hmm. or how important you think you are, when God closes a door, no one would open that door except the one that closed it. Amen. Yes, amen. The Lord has made a promise and sealed it in our hearts. Mm -hmm. If we depend on him and act in faith, Christ will assure us of a blessed hope and future. God said, I will be with you always, mm -hmm. even until the end of the age. Uh -huh. Wherever we go, the Spirit goes with us. Mm -hmm. And we said that the Spirit is our teacher, our comforter, and our guide. Yes. And if we follow the Spirit, we cannot go wrong. Mm -hmm. Because the Spirit is not going to lead us wrong. Mm -hmm. That's right. Ephesians 1, 13 and 4 teaches us, tells us that you also were included in Christ when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. Having believed, you were marked in him with a seal, mm -hmm. the promised Holy Spirit. Once you have been sealed, the Holy Spirit will live within us. Amen. Amen. And once we have been sealed, we are sealed for the day of salvation. Amen. Mm -hmm. Having believed, you were marked with a seal. Who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession mm -hmm. to the praise of his glory. All right. The old saying that once say, always say, mm -hmm. We used to say that not listening at what we are saying. Right. But since studying the Bible, I find that the correct way to say that, once you are sealed, mm -hmm. 
you are sealed until the day of redemption. Uh -huh. Once you are sealed, that means that you have accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior. Mm -hmm. We believe that he went to Calvary, suffered, bled, and died for our soul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And once we believe, like Romans 10, 9, if we confess with our mouth uh -huh. that Jesus is the Christ, and believe within our heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Yeah, right. If you believe within your heart, you are sealed mm -hmm. at that point there. Mm -hmm. You believe uh -huh. yeah. that God actually raised Jesus from the dead. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thou shalt be saved. Mm -hmm. When believers walk by faith in Christ, Rather than the effort of the flesh, God considers them righteous. Uh -huh. Once God considers you righteous, mm -hmm. you are really righteous in our sight of our Heavenly Father. Yes, right. It is humbling to consider the mercy of a holy God. Mm -hmm. It is humbling. Mm -hmm. A wretch like me, mm -hmm. I have found favor in our heavenly Father. Amen. God is a good God. Yes, he is. People can neither work their way into heaven yeah. or boast of their merits. That's right. I don't care if you stand before audience and they can read three pages of accolades. Mm -hmm. That is not impressing unto God. Uh -huh. Faithfulness is what God is looking at. Mm -hmm. Not your earthly accomplishment mm -hmm. but your biblical accomplishment. Mm -hmm. You believe that the word of God is true yeah. from Genesis to Revelation. Uh -huh. We believe that God gave us his holy word to lead and guide us in the way that he would have us to go. Yeah. Instead, they must believe that Christ, through his atoning power, makes heaven available to all who believe. Mm -hmm. right. Only Jesus can make heaven available for us. Amen. Jesus Amen. is the one, is the only one that told us that I'm going away uh -huh. to prepare a place for you. Yeah. That where I am, there ye yeah. might be. Yeah. Yeah. He is the one that is preparing a place for you and for me. Amen. This lesson would help us to understand the human limitation of attaining righteousness. Mm -hmm. While this plan, the limitless grace that God offers to the world. Mm -hmm. Limitless. The limitless grace. God has for you and me. God does not run short on grace. That's right. God got enough grace for whosoever will. Let them come. And he will in no wise cast you out. Amen. Grace. Amen. Yes. The substance of things hoped for. The evidence Mm -hmm. Amen. Abraham justified by faith. Mm -hmm. Romans 4 through 8. When these verses, within these verses, Paul makes the argument that God viewed Abraham as righteousness, mm -hmm. but not because of Abraham's own goodness. Mm -hmm. 
Because we are not saved by works, but we are saved by the grace of God through faith in our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Not a wet works, lest any man should boast. Uh -huh. Amen. I don't care how many auxiliaries you are a partaker in. Mm -hmm. That does not mean that you are a favorite of God. No. Because a lot of people are in auxiliaries just for bragging rights. Uh -huh. But God looks on the heart. Yes, right. Man looks on your outward appearance. Uh -huh. So don't get the big head because people are talking about you, what you do. You do this and you do that. But God is looking at what is genuine, mm -hmm. your heart. Yeah. Both Jews and Gentiles participated in the church at Rome. Mm -hmm. And they accepted Abraham as their spiritual father. Both Jews and Gentiles. Look at Abraham as the father mm -hmm. of our faith. Mm -hmm. The Jews were proud to be descendants of Abraham. Mm -hmm. Paul uses Abraham as a good example of someone who was saved by faith. Mm -hmm. Someone that was saved by faith. By emphasizing faith, Paul is not saying that God's law is unimportant. It is. Yes, it is. If the law was not important, God would not have given it for us to observe. Mm -hmm. I did not say live by because the law is like a schoolmaster. Mm -hmm. It can show you your mistake, sure. but it's up to you to correct your mistakes. Yeah. The yeah. law is not going to correct your, your, the law is only going to reveal your weaknesses. Uh -huh. But that it is important to be saved simply by obeying the law. And it is hard. It's difficult to obey the law because the Bible teaches us that if you offend one part of the law, uh -huh. you have offended the whole law. Yeah, right. And that is what God is trying to tell us. God is trying to tell us that we need a Savior. Yes, we do. Yeah. We need someone to go on our bones. Mm -hmm. In verse 13. For the promise that he would be the heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. Mm -hmm. And as I studied this lesson, my mind began to wonder back to things that God and Jesus said in other narratives in the Bible. Okay. Like the woman that had the issue of blood for 12 years. Mm -hmm. Jesus didn't tell her because you touched my garment, you became whole. He said, thy faith has made the hope. Yeah. And the ten men that had leprosy that cried out to Jesus to have mercy on them. Jesus gave them an uh, order to go show yourself to the priest. Mm -hmm. And as they went, one, only one turned back and thanked Jesus for what he had done. The other nine, other nine proceeded to the temple. Mm -hmm. 
Because uh, I thought about the other nine was Jews. Uh -huh. And that was a ritual that they had to go through when they was cleansed of leprosy. Amen. The priest had to observe them. Uh -huh. The priest would sit them aside for seven days uh -huh. and come and re-examine them. And then uh -huh. was the time for the priest to announce them clean. Mm -hmm. right. But this Samaritan didn't know what the law was about. Uh -huh. So what he did, he went back to the one that cleansed him. As they went along the way, he looked down and his hands was new. Uh -huh. wow. His feet was new. Uh -huh. His body was new. He knew that he did not have leprosy anymore. Mm -hmm. He went back to thank Jesus. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, well, not that ten. Where are the other nine? Uh -huh. They're on the way to see the priest. Mm -hmm. and, the, and Jesus told him, your faith have made you old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he didn't have to go through the ritual. Uh -huh. He did not have to go through what the law say he had to go through. Mm -hmm. He came to grace. Grace. Right. Saved him. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And we are living under the umbrella of grace. Amen. We can go to the throne of mercy any time of the day and any time of the night. Because of our faith, mm -hmm. we can carry all our troubles, heartaches, and pain. And lead, lay them at the throne of mercy. Mm -hmm. And Jesus Christ said, if you believe that God is able, God will hear your plea. Mm -hmm. right. When some people learn that they are saved by God through faith, they start to worry. Because, see, I got to look at my lifestyle. Uh -huh. I got to look at all through my adolescent years, my young adult years, that time when I didn't have a Jesus on my side. Mm -hmm. right. And I think about what I have done what I have said and the places that I have been, I can, my mind can lead me to believe that my track record is so dirty and so sinful that nobody can forgive me of the things that I have done in days gone by. Mm -hmm. First thing that will come into your mind, do I have enough faith? Wow. Have you ever thought about that? Mm -hmm. Is my faith sufficient to find favor in the eyesight of my Lord and my Savior? Mm -hmm. They wonder, is my faith strong enough to save me? Mm -hmm. Is my faith strong enough to believe you're worried because you have not studied God's holy word. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because there is blessed assurance in the word. Yes. Yes, Jesus Christ, said, even if you got faith the size of a mustard seed, mm -hmm. yeah. he said that's sufficient. Yeah. And you got to see the size of a mustard seed to see how small that mustard seed is. Amen. A mustard seed is so small that if you drop it in this carpet, there's a very good chance that you won't find that right. mustard right. seed. Amen. It's very small. That let me know that if I just got a teeny weeny bit of faith, yeah. that yeah. is sufficient for my mm -hmm. Lord and my Savior Jesus Christ oh, yeah. to look upon me with the eye of compassion. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Those people missed the point. Is it Jesus Christ who saves us? 
or our feelings or action. And he is strong enough to save us no matter how weak our faith is. Amen. Or should I say, how small Amen. our faith is. Right. Jesus Christ is still able to save us. Yeah. Amen. Jesus offers us salvation as a gift because he loves us. Amen. Not because we have earned it through our powerful faith. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ loves us. Mm -hmm. What then is the role of faith? Faith is believing and trusting in Jesus Christ and reaching out to accept his wonderful gift of salvation. All right, all right. Reach out. Reach out. And take hold to the salvation of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. He said, I will in no way cast you aside. Yeah. I will you. receive you unto myself. Yeah. Yeah. Within these verses, David serves as the second witness of justification by faith. Amen. You know in the Old Testament, in the law, it took two witnesses before anyone could be acted against. Deuteronomy 19.15 explained that a matter in Jewish law must be settled by at least two witnesses. Mm -hmm. okay. Listen at Deuteronomy 19.15. One witness shall not rise against a man concerning any iniquity or any sin that he commits. Mm -hmm. By the mouth of two or three witnesses, the matter shall be established. Mm -hmm. Even in the New Testament, mm -hmm. Christ said, where two or three yeah. is gathered together That's right. in my name, mm -hmm. he's a I will be in the mix uh, of you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Two or three witnesses. Yeah. What can we do to get rid of guilt? Mm. I know you want to know. Mm -hmm. Because I wanted to know. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever had guilt that just plague you? Uh -huh. That won't let go? Uh -huh. It seems as if it has become a tumor in your brain. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. constantly nagging you. Uh -huh. Telling you that you are unfit mm -hmm. for the kingdom of God. Well. King David was guilty of terrible sin. Uh -huh. Adultery, uh -huh. murder, lying, uh -huh. and yet he experienced the joy of forgiveness. Sure. Yeah. Amen. Can't you hear David saying, renew unto me the joy of thy salvation? Amen. God will give it back to you. Yeah, right. You ain't did nothing so bad that God won't restore that joy and give you peace and happiness of mind. That is why it is a good thing to know our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah, sure. Jesus Christ will never push you away uh -huh. from his presence. Amen. Jesus will draw you closer oh. Mm -hmm. Unto him. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We too can have this joy when we, one, mm -hmm. quit denying our guilt yeah. and recognize that we have sinned. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. Romans 3.23 said we all have sinned yeah. and fall short sure. of the glory yeah. of God. You are not spotless. No, no. Sure. That's why Jesus Christ is coming back mm -hmm. 
looking for a church without spot, wrinkle, blemish, or any such thing. And the only way you can get that clean is through the blood. Through the blood, yeah, through the blood. You got to be washed in yeah, yeah. the blood. Yeah. Right. Number two, admit our guilt to God and ask for his forgiveness. Yeah. You did it. And a lot of times we did it when we was alone by ourselves. Uh -huh. So why not tell God, don't nobody know about it but you and God. That's right. Well, and if you don't tell God, he ain't going to forget it. Uh -huh. It's going to come back up when you stand before his holy presence. Uh -huh. That's right. So why not blot, let God blot it out? Uh -huh. Isaiah mm -hmm. said, come mm -hmm. and let us reason together. Yeah. I mean, come and let us talk with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lord, you know what I did. You saw what I did when I did it. Mm -hmm. That's right. Now, wash me with hypsum. Wash me. Clean me mm -hmm. and make me whiter than snow. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Lord. Forgive me. Peter asked Jesus, Lord, how many times must I forgive my brother? Seven times? Mm -hmm. And Jesus looked at Peter and said, no, Peter, not seven times, but 70 times seven. Yeah. That means that Jesus will forgive you limitless times. Uh -huh. As often as you muster up the courage to yeah. go before the throne of grace and ask God forgiveness, God will forgive you. Amen. He would cast them as far as east is from the west. But how is your faith in God? Do you believe that God is who he said he is? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is going to take faith. Mm. I was looking at a picture on TV the other day. Mm -hmm. And they was brought up, said, you uh, need to uh, look to God. And he looked at the other man and said, I don't believe in ghosts. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in ghosts, but I do believe in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. And I believe that everywhere I go, I believe the Holy Ghost is right there with me. Yeah, amen. Amen. Thank the Lord. I'm telling you, he's encouraging me for those things that I am doing that is pleasing in his sight and let him let me know that I am grieving him when I stray away from the straight and the narrow pathway. Mm -hmm. yeah. he's, he's teaching me, he's comforting me, and he's guiding me. Everything and anything that I do, I want to find favor in the Holy Spirit. Yeah, and number three, mm -hmm. let go of our guilt and believe that God has forgiven them. Amen. Walking around Faith. with worrying about sins that has already been forgiven. Uh -huh. And you are still holding on to those sins. Uh -huh. Not knowing that God has already forgiven them because if you knew God, you would know that God has forgiven them the moment you ask for forgiveness. This can be difficult when a sin has taken root in our lives over many years. Do you know that we have unforgiven sin that we have not asked for forgiveness that happened 30, 40, 50 years ago. Uh -huh. You're still carrying 
those sin mm -hmm. grind waiting yourself down. Mm -hmm. Jesus want to set you free. Amen. Jesus want to cleanse you from all your unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Come to Jesus and ask him for forgiveness. I can't be sure of everything in this world, but one thing I am sure of, that any time that you come before a holy and a righteous God, yeah. believing that he can do everything except fail mm -hmm. and ask for forgiveness uh -huh. in the name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, yeah. Jesus said the Father in heaven yeah. will Forgive you. Yes, it is. Amen. When it is a Amen. very serious problem. Mm -hmm. Or when it involves others. Have you ever mistreated somebody? Mm -hmm. Amen. And they have gone on to be with the Lord. Mm -hmm. And now you are walking around worried because you didn't forgive, you didn't mm -hmm. uh, ask them for forgiveness what you did to them before God called them on. Well, mm -hmm. God will forgive you. Yes, yes. We must remember that Jesus is willing and able to forgive every sin. Yeah, yeah, yes, Lord. Those that you did forgot or was too hard-hearted to ask that person to forgive you, Jesus will forgive you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. In view of the tremendous price he paid on the cross, mm -hmm. it is arrogant to think that there is any sin too great for him to forgive. Mm -hmm. Jesus is our Lord. Mm -hmm. Jesus is our Savior. Yeah. Yeah. On several occasions in the Bible, you would read these words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, the stranger told Abraham that when he come back this way next year, Sarah gonna have a child. Uh -huh. Sarah laughed behind the tent flap. Uh -huh. But the question that was asked, is there anything too hard, too hard yeah. for God yeah. to do? Yeah. And when the young Virgin Mary was mm -hmm. pregnant by the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And Gabriel told her that that thing that was within her was of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Mary said, how can this be when I've never known a man? Mm -hmm. yeah. And the, the response was, is there anything too hard mm -hmm. for God to do? There's nothing. And we got to have the mindset to understand mm -hmm. that I use myself as an example. All right. No matter what I have done in the past, mm -hmm. no matter who I have offended in the past, mm -hmm. you might not forgive me, right. but Jesus, yeah. I know that he will, he will forgive yes, he me. Thank you, Lord. We must remember that Jesus is willing and able to forgive every sin. Mm -hmm. In view of the tremendous price, we must know that God is a great God. Yes, Amen. Yes. Even though our faith is weak, mm. our conscience is sensitive mm -hmm. 
and our memories haunt us. God's words declare that sin confess or sin forgive us. First John 1 John 9. Right. If we confess with our mouth, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he is yeah. faithful to forgive us. Mm -hmm. He not only will forgive us, but he will cleanse us from all unrighteousness. unrighteousness. He'll forgive us. Yes, he will. In other words, that's just like saying he will uh, bathe us in his blood. Yeah. He'll clean us up hmm. and give us a chance to make right mm -hmm. all the wrongs uh -huh. in our lives. Amen. David justified by faith mm -hmm. because David says, Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven. Mm -hmm. Blessed is the man in whom the Lord will not impute sin. Okay. God won't hold it against you. Yeah, yeah. God will cast them away from his presence. Thank you, Lord. That's what I call good news. Amen. Mm -hmm. The gospel is good news. Yeah, yes, it is. The gospel is telling us that as long as the blood is running warm in your veins, yeah. you have a right to make right the wrong that you've done in years gone by. Amen. Amen. Give them the understanding that people can become righteous by faith alone, mm -hmm. apart from obeying the Jewish law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The obvious question from Paul really is, is this righteousness actually available to the uncircumcised? Well, mm -hmm. mm. yeah. Abraham However, received righteousness from God some 14 years before he was circumcised. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Like the question was like, uh, was it after circumcision or before mm -hmm. circumcision? Mm -hmm. And the text goes on to say it was not before mm -hmm. circumcision. Abraham was not circumcised. Amen. When God talked to Abraham in Mesopotamia, Abraham was 75 years old. Mm -hmm. When Abraham was circumcised, circ Abraham was 99 years old. This fact opened the door to a new understanding of God's grace. Uh -huh. well. It is available to all people, both Jews and Gentiles. Yeah. Abraham is a father, both of the uncircumcised mm -hmm. who believe, as well as of the circumcised mm -hmm. who believe. Faith mm. is the key yeah. to salvation. Yeah, yeah. Without faith, it is impossible mm. to please God. Mm -hmm. Circumcision was a sign and seal. Mm -hmm. As a sign, it pointed to the fact that Abraham possessed righteousness. Mm -hmm. And as a seal, it verified that Abraham was a righteous man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Technically, circumcision was a sign and a seal of the covenant 
God gave Abraham for the land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what God covenant with Abraham was. Mm -hmm. Even today, people over in the Middle East, they have taken the Jewish land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that land was given to the Jews in a covenant. Uh -huh. between God and Abraham. Yeah. They have it for a moment. But before the end of time, God will restore the land back to the Israelis mm -hmm. in right. that part of the world. Yeah. Because God has not broken that covenant. Mm -hmm. It still is enacted even up until this day. But God will not make a covenant with one who was not righteous. God is not going to deal with someone that's not righteous. Mm -hmm. Know that the conditional promise of Genesis 12, 1 through 3, become an unconditional covenant in Genesis 15, 18. And I want to share with you uh, Genesis, the 12th chapter. I just want to read uh, verses 1 through 3. Now the Lord has said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country. Mm -hmm. And from that kingdom, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. All right. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. Mm -hmm. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curses thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Yes. All the way back in Genesis, the 12th chapter, uh -huh. God had already made provision for you yeah. and for me. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. The 12th chapter yeah. of the first book in the Bible. Uh -huh. He going to make him a father of all nations. Mm -hmm. He didn't say the Jewish nation, but oh. all yeah. nations. And fifteen, eighteen. In the same day, the Lord made a covenant with Abraham, saying, Unto thy seed have I given this land from the river of Egypt unto the great river, the river Euphrates. Mm -hmm. That is Jewish land mm -hmm. from the river of Egypt mm -hmm. unto the great Euphrates. Mm -hmm. If you had a map and look at the land that God made a covenant with Abraham to give him the Jew Israel is just a little dot uh -huh. on the land that God gave them. Mm -hmm. right. And he will. God is true to his word. Yes, he, is. Yes, he, is. he will give it back to them. Uh -huh. God declared his unconditional covenant uh -huh. with Abraham after declaring his righteousness uh -huh. because of his belief. Abraham did what was right in the eyes of God. Sure. And God counted it to him as righteousness. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And that what you do that is pleasing in the eyes of God, uh -huh. he will count it to you yeah. as right. righteousness. Faith 
is something that we need to pay very close attention to. Amen. We need to hold on to it. Mm -hmm. We need to put faith and hide it in our heart so that we might not sin against God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Like Psalm 119 and 11. He said, I have hidden thy word in my heart mm -hmm. that I might not sin against yeah. thee. Yeah. And the conclusion is this. Where exactly do we place our faith? If it is in Jesus Christ, then we must show it through compassion mm -hmm. and honorable action. Mm -hmm. sure. Faith does not excuse us from work, mm -hmm. but it does inspire us to do good deeds. Yes. Thank the word says. Show me your faith mm -hmm. without your works. Mm -hmm. I show you my works because okay. of my faith. Mm -hmm. If you got faith, you are not going to be idle. Mm -hmm. You're going to get in a hurry. You're going to be about the Father's business. Yeah. Yeah. Christians must believe that our salvation is through Jesus Christ alone. Amen. Not of works. Mm -hmm. Not of how many organizations you are in memoir. Okay. Not about how many auxiliaries in the church you partake in. Mm -hmm. All right. Jesus Christ is the answer to our faith. Mm -hmm. Let us not place anything before Jesus. Amen. Don't you know that he is a good, jealous God? Yes, he is. Don't you know what the first commandment said? Thou shalt have no other God before me. Mm -hmm. Amen. He mean it. You should not put anything mm -hmm. on the shelf that God occupies. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus is so holy mm -hmm. that he was buried in Joseph or Arimathea's tomb. Mm -hmm. Jesus rose the third day no other body have occupied that tomb from the day Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Uh -huh. Because, like God told Moses in Exodus 3, and like he told Joshua outside the whole, outside the wall of Jericho. Take off your sandals because the land that you, the ground that you are standing on is holy ground. Mm -hmm. Even up until this day, the tomb that Jesus laid in over 2,000 years ago is holy ground. Mm -hmm. No one has ever laid in the tomb that Jesus Christ laid in. For where we stand before him is a spring ex externally we want to know that his judgment will seal our eternal destiny in heaven. Mm -hmm. When he declares us righteousness before mm -hmm. the Father. Mm -hmm. You are sealed to the day and when you stand before a holy 
God. And you got the seal of Jesus Christ over your heart. You will be unsealed. And that is the day that Jesus Christ will look at you and say, you have been faithful over a few things. Amen. Now, enter into the joy of the master. Mm -hmm. Don't you want to go where Jesus is? Amen. Don't you want to be where Jesus is? I do. Amen. And I pray and I hope that my living down here on this earth mm -hmm. have not been in vain. Amen. Because I want to find favor in our Lord and in our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Mm -hmm. Let us pray. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for all your many acts of kindness. Mm -hmm. We thank you, our Heavenly Father, for looking beyond all our faults and all our mistakes. You saw our needs. Yeah. You not only saw our needs, but you are ministered to our needs. Thank you, Lord. You strengthened us where we were weak, and you have built us up where we have been torn down. Mm. And now, we want to go back with you when you come. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, we ask these and all blessings. Amen. Amen. Amen.